So hi guys, how's it going? I'm going to be talking about the UF1 once again, but today I'm going to be discussing something a little bit different about it. I think this is the perfect bit of kit for recording while you're traveling. I've had the UF1 now for about a week. And I've got to say, I've been really, really enjoying it. It's taken away a lot of the small problems I was having with the transport and that sort of thing. Very useful in that way. But I did get to thinking about what I would do when I'm going to try and go travel a bit more. And I'd like to record in the places that I'm traveling to. I thought to myself, this machine is going to be the best little bit of kit for traveling there actually is. Between the Volt 476 which I have and the UF1 all I really need is a small traveling pair of speakers and I think the iLouds by IK Multimedia I think those will do the job and I believe I can get the whole thing into a case about that size. I just started trying to work on one of my songs by only using the plug-in mode on the UF1. Much simpler than I thought it was going to be. You can actually use the knobs on the UF1, then show you a graphical image of your EQs. If you're in the DAW mode, the plug-in shows up in the DAW. You want to put yourself in the plug-in mixer mode. To do that, you press the 360 layer and hold it, put yourself in plug-in mixer. Brought myself to the electric piano channel because that's where I want to be. I'll just start playing it here. Now all of these buttons here on this line across the top here, you've got width, output trim, and the comp trim there. And by moving your banks, you can see your input trim, your high pass and low pass. So I'll just turn this just to show you. High pass is here. So you can high pass. The high pass filter. So I'm going to turn that up. So you can see in your 360 that that is changing. Take the low pass, you'll see that that works as well. And then if you go to the next, your low gain is here. So you can choose the frequency. So let's say I want it around 250 and I want to boost or cut, you can do it right from here. And you'll see that at the bottom there, that the low gain is turning. And your frequency is here, then move in again to the low mids. I want to go somewhere around 1.5, say, and then I want to boost there. And also I don't like that Q, so I'm going to bring that back a little bit. You can change the size of your Q and your gain from here. And you can see the frequency is changing on your screen here. You can see it moving here. Then I'll go to my high frequencies and I want to boost, let's say somewhere around 5K. So then I'll be able to do, and oh, I don't like that Q, so I'm going to bring that Q down as well. So you can see that just by looking here, I know that sounds terrible, by the way, you can change all your parameters, your EQ parameters and so on, right from the UF1. I was having a little bit of trouble using it uh, to do the compression mode only because I think I was probably pushing a little bit too hard. Normally I like to push it so two lights light up. With your ears only, it's hard not to push it so that it starts hitting the red because when you start really hearing it, you know you've gone too far and you back it off a little bit, but sometimes you've gone too far already. You can do your threshold and say you're going four to one, add your threshold there and your release time. So you can see that moving up over there with your ratio you can see that it now actually works in the plugin as well. If you go one step further, your expander from here as well. So let me go back one so you can see where the ratios move here. Everything moves right from here. You can see them on the screen now, no matter what you'd like. So by scrolling back here, I can use my output trim to bring the volume down here. 
which is down below the comp mix, the mixture of the compressor there. And then just by cycling through, you can change to any of the parameters that you want to see either in the plugin or in the 360 program, looking at it as if it was an entire desk. So all of that stuff now works in the 360 program. So it's dead simple to get the sound that you want without any trouble, only by using the UF1. And the UF1 is this size here. So if I just show you, I'll move this out a little bit. It's only that size right there with one mic or say even two mics stereo pair UF1 Volt 476 because it has the fantastic preamp and also the 1176 compressor built into it. With that little tiny speakers and some headphones, you're good to travel anywhere. There's also the KRK speakers, which apparently have a small travel kit. They also may work perfectly for this idea of having just a little traveling kit to do field recording, basically. Or let's say you have a friend in Rome that you'd like to record while you're there. You see what I mean? You're off to the races. Thanks very much, guys. I hope that was useful to you, and we'll see you again next week. Woo!